so today we're doing some uh, mine awareness training, tripwire training, how to deal with mines that they might come across. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully it'll be a good session. We've got quite a few with us today, 15, so I'll keep you all updated. We're actually uh, just preparing the uh, the probing lane um, with a mixture of uh, anti-tank and anti-personnel mines, uh, common ones that they will come across out there. Um, we're just on like a bit of a training range, so you can hear the uh, the gunfire in the background. What we've done, we've done like three lanes. So it's the first lane, second lane, and the third lane. And then uh, we'll be showing them um, how to basically probe properly. Um, there's certain techniques to doing it uh, that they use here. So obviously, I've been taught myself, uh, not in Kosovo, but by staffers here. So um, yeah. So important just to spread that knowledge uh, a team of 15 and these guys uh, will be going out um, literally after today's training they'll be getting deployed um, for some individual sapper kits uh, for each person so it's just some basic hand tools uh, that they can use and that are really effective multi-tools, wrench, probe. Uh, I'm gonna give them two detectors as well. Um, and that's all funded by you guys. So this course that we're running is actually part of uh, the International Legion, good friends of mine. Um, and I trained actually, some me and some of these guys were trained together. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be a regular course. It's something that they've been running. Um, recently uh, something they've been running recently and we, we will be looking at um, getting some individual toolkits for these people um, I did a fundraiser last night which raised uh, some funds for these guys um, so anyway, it's getting a bit loud, but I'll keep you updated. Drone. Even if, yeah, we would have like, we, we, we could teach that, but it's something we are not like. But you teach us the worst thing. Yeah, finding is enough. Is the door, bro. Good. Yeah. After I check this area for trip wires. Is it all for the area for the territory on the rest of the Yeah. Uh, about the ground. I don't have the time uh, if I advance technically to prod every centimeter. No, потім після того, як перевірю стяжки, перепожу до землі, але насправді, ну, якщо я там працюю на нулі, в мене немає можливості перевірити там кожен сантиметр. Yeah, but I look at the ground, look at suspicious spots and I go like я дивлюсь на землю, знаходжу підозрілу територію і роблю так. Прощупується під кожен крок. Ну це якось трошки ну неправильно. Yeah. So зараз швидко злітає. Also the third version, which is simply tape. Третя версія, да, це просто ізолента. 
So you can carry way more tape rolls than, than this flex, but also if there's mortars or artillery incoming, branches and trees are pretty soon gone. Uh, not the Maybe 50 centimeters uh, around the object, so Pro you don't have to touch the object by yourself. Приблизно 50 сантиметрів від об'єкту, щоб не доточнутися самому до нього. Yeah, but also if you mark it like this, it's maybe too late when the other guys see it. Ну, але знову ж таки, якщо ти поставиш прямо біля нього, то можливо це ну занадто близько і пізно для того, щоб решта хлопців його помітили, тому треба трошки далі позначати. Nero, can you bring uh, some fishing wire, please? Um, so, with spray it's even more easy. Spray is uh, ну, набагато простіше. Yeah. You can make a... I think that is pretty obvious. Да, ну це в принципі все очевидно, що що відбувається. Yeah. So, uh, not it. object is not only there, but it's like a stretched object. Щоб люди бачили, що це не один об'єкт, а розтягнутий об'єкт. Yeah. Да, ну, знову ж таки, зі спреєм просто pretty obvious. Це легше і очевидно. Yeah. If you rear on material and have only tape, um, Take some and try to make something like flex in front of it. If you have enough material, and there is only a string, then you can see that it's like a flag in front of the flag. Maybe from two sides. Yeah, it's not that obvious like the flex itself or, or the uh, spray, but still better than nothing. Ну, тобто це не так очевидно, як флажочки готові чи спрей, але your priority is not to find mines and to defuse them, but to find a safe way around and between them. Тому що ваша задача, коли ви робите маршрут, не Yeah, so it goes in this way. This way. Like this. Yeah. I'll show you. So that groove goes in there. And hold the camera at the same time. Right, so like this. There. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you understand what I mean. It's hard because I'm holding the camera, but yeah. Okay, so you're going to pull it from this direction over here, yeah? Because obviously where it's facing. Move the spade. Okay. Yes. Pull, pull again, 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 again. Yeah. So. Okay, good. Okay. Мы тянем мину, чтобы она перевернулась, але чекаємо ще 5 хвилин до того, як підходити до до неї. So we'll set this hook here, like this. Yeah. There we go. That's better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're just teaching the guys how to mine using the, the wrenches rather than the DZM. The DZM can be uh, quite um, time consuming to set up sometimes, so, and it's not always available, so um, 
all the guys are going to have a wrench each. So we've bought them, uh, bought them ourselves, so um, thanks to yourself, and they're going to be able to uh, diffuse it just using the wrench. Той поймент проходить. Він всім говорить, ну, дає позначку, що це міна. І всі, ну, і цю інформацію передається по лицюшку, щоб ну, і останні знав, що міна тут знаходиться. Окей, ми можемо розвитати цей поймент. Зараз міняємо поймена. І продовжуємо. І продовжуємо. Go, go! Субтитры сделал 